Hello, good day viewers. In today's tutorial, I'm only going to introduce to you how to obtain an integrative factor for an exact differential equation. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload any content. Remember in our previous lesson, uh, we learned that the general form of an exact differential equation is given by m dx plus n dy equals zero. But we have to test whether it is really exact or not uh, by setting uh, the partial derivative of m with respect to y to be equal to the partial derivative of n with respect to x. If this condition holds, we say this is really exact. So the question is, what about if they are not the same? If they are not the same, you have to find other method to solve your equation. Otherwise, you have to change it, convert it into an exact differential equation by multiplying the equation through by an integrating factor. So how can we find that integrating factor? Let mu of x and y be our integrating factor. We are going to multiply our main equation by this function to make it exact. So we have mu m dx plus mu n dy equals zero because multiplying our integrated factor by zero is still zero. So if this is an exact differential equation, it means that the partial derivative with respect to y of this mu m must be equal to the partial derivative with respect to x of this mu n. So, both mu and m are all functions of x. Therefore, we are going to apply product rule here. Keep mu constant. Take the partial derivative of m with respect to y. Then you add. You keep m constant this time around. You take the partial derivative of mu with respect to y. And this must be equal to, um, you keep this constant mu. You take the partial derivative of n with respect to x. Then you add, you keep n constant. You take the partial derivative of mu with respect to x. Now we are going to connect those with mu and those with derivative of mu together. We have one here, we have one here, we bring them together. We can equally factorize partial derivative of m with respect to y. If this comes over, it becomes negative, minus partial derivative of n with respect to x. This is equal to, we already have uh, n the partial derivative of mu with respect to x. Then if this crosses over, it becomes negative. We have minus m, the partial derivative of mu with respect to y. So our main target is to solve for mu, but solving for mu here will be a little bit difficult. So we want to pretend that our integrative factor is only in terms of x. If this is true, the partial derivative of mu with respect to y must be equal to zero. So we are going to set this to be equal to zero. The whole of this becomes zero. And the partial derivative of mu with respect to x will be an ordinary derivative because it is not an implicit function. So this becomes mu partial derivative of m remain partial derivative because m is a function of x and y. The minus partial derivative of n with respect to x and this is equal to n d mu over dx. So we want to collect like terms. We bring this together with mu. And you know this can also be written as uh, mu prime of x is all the same. So we're going to bring them together, then connect these two together. This becomes mu prime over mu 
this is equal to, and a partial derivative can also be written in subscript form. So we have m subscript y minus n subscript x divided by n. Now we are going to integrate both sides with respect to x. Integrate this side, integrate this side with respect to x. Integrating the left hand side, we are going to obtain the natural log of mu. Natural log of mu in absolute form, but we are going to pretend our mu is positive. This is equal to the integral of m subscript y minus n subscript x over n dx. This is not what we are looking for, but mu. We are going to take e to the natural log of mu, e to the natural log of mu, e to the integral of this function. This will cancel this, leaving mu, and our mu is in term of x. This is equal to e to the integral of m subscript y minus n subscript x over n dx. So this is our integrating factor with respect to x. What about if we are looking for the integrating factor with respect to y, which is going to be mu of y. From here, we are going to set this to be equal to zero because it is only in term of y. If this becomes zero, we are going to divide negative m through here, and it is going to flip this over. We have partial derivative of n with respect to x minus this. So this becomes e to the integral of n this time around, subscript x minus m subscript y over m because we have divide through by m dy. So these are our two integrating factors. How to use them is that you take the first one, you multiply through your main equation, test whether it is really exact or not. If it is not, you take the second one, multiply through your equation. In that moment, your equation has to be exact differential equation. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.